All right, it's National Nanotechnology Day and colleges and organizations across the nation are holding community activities and events. They're trying to raise awareness about how tiny tech is currently being used in everyday products that enrich our lives. Let's get to WFMY News 2's Candace Red. She's live at uh, JSNN in Greensboro talking to experts and giving us a look at a few nano experiments, Candace. Good morning. Well, right now I am live with Shireen O'Bear, who is the dean of the Joint School. And Shireen, I'm curious to know, for those who missed the segment earlier, sure. what is nanotechnology? Nanotechnology is the study of matter at a very small scale, a billionth of a meter. And oftentimes one wonders, how do you begin to even visualize materials at such a small scale? And here at the Joint School, we've been extremely fortunate to have different types of instrumentation, equipment, that allows us to be able to actually visualize these materials. And what exactly are we looking at right now? We are looking at a helium ion microscope. This is one um, type of microscope that is extremely unique. It's the only one in the state of North Carolina. Um, but it allows us to be able to visualize things all the way down to the nanoscale and to be able to manipulate matter at that small scale. And what is this right here on the screen? This is an example of particles that were designed by one of our graduate students here at the joint school. They consist of benign uh, biocompatible materials that were able to actually immobilize different types of drugs on them and they're used for drug delivery. So the reason that becomes pretty critical is because if you're thinking of somebody, for example, a patient that may be suffering from cancer, they're always exposed to chemotherapy. Mm. And that chemotherapy tends to impact all cells, good cells as well as the bad cells. These particular particles are compatible to the cancer cells only. So when we put the drugs on them, they only go to those specific cancer cells and treat them. A lot of great information there. Thank you so much for your time. Now taking a look at your screen because if you plan on celebrating a National Nanotechnology Day, all you have to do is head here to uh, JSNN because they are hosting Nano Day today. That's going to be from 3 to 5 p.m. It's going to kick off with a panel discussion and then a networking event afterwards. And for more information on this story, just simply head over to our website. That's WFNYNews2.com.